Hi there folks, welcome back to Mossy Roots Farm. So uh, you can see here that uh, Mr. Jersey is eating his uh, grass well before he's eating his round bale over there. Uh, and I think you can see in the background Mr. Rocky's doing the same thing as well. Uh, so this video, I want to caution you farmers out there of uh, confirmation biases. And I'm definitely uh, an example of this as well. I do things a certain way because I think it works better for me and I already know some things don't work even though I test them out anyways. But I try and keep as open a mindset as possible. And here's one that I can describe to you. Uh, I, I know I've shown it in a previous video so I hope I'm not beating a dead horse here but uh, round bale rings on a round bale. Uh, I absolutely positively have to have them or else my hay usage uh, triples uh, per round bale, so I really need to use them. Uh, however, I have seen some videos saying that bale grazing doesn't work altogether. Well, of course it doesn't work if you don't want it to work. Of course it doesn't work if you already think it's not gonna work, but there's other ways to try the same thing, like with this round bale ring. You know, I tested it myself, and I don't think it was confirmation bias, uh, because I truly wanted this to work. I truly wanted to not have to move a round bale ring all the time because moving a round bale ring, it doesn't take a lot of effort, but it takes some effort. You know, it makes me have to work a little bit more than if I could just move fence every day. You know, we get Mr. Rocky playing in the round bale and the one that was just moved. Uh, but you got to be careful with that, right? So let's say your uh, feeding method is small square bales and you say that feeding round bales isn't worth it because you need a tractor, you need bale rings, you need a sacrifice lot, whatever the case is, where if you just go out and put round, uh, small square bales out onto your pasture, then you don't have to worry about a tractor having to buy the hay, haul the hay, all that fun stuff. Well, I'd caution you to be careful with that because it's not as expensive as you claim. So you do not have to purchase a tractor, first and foremost. You don't have to purchase a tractor. You can rent one. You can borrow one. You can ask a neighbor to, instead of, so let's say you buy your hay from a neighbor, instead of you hauling it yourself, see what it would cost if he hauled it to your farm, and then you were out here and he put it out exactly where you wanted it. So let's say that. Let's say my round bales cost $40 a bale and for $50 a bale, so $10 difference, the farmer would put all the hay out for me. Just 10 bucks. So I bought 40 round bales this year, let's say. Uh, so that's what, an extra $400? I mean, yeah, that might be a bit much on rent for equipment, but then I didn't have to haul it in. I didn't have to do any of that fun stuff. Uh, so another thing you gotta be careful with with confirmation bias is then using everything as a reason not to do something. So for example, well, I don't have a bale ring, so I can't use them, but you can purchase one. You can make one. Uh, sheep farmers do cattle panel all the time. They'll stand a round bale like this up on end, and then they will wrap it in cattle panel and the sheep will eat right through it. I was at a farm a couple weeks ago that did exactly that. So you could try that with these cows. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. You know, you can claim, uh, where is, I think he's over here. Uh, let me see if I can get a good video. You can claim cows with horns can't eat out of one of these feeders. Well, this little guy here, this black guy that Papa is moving around the bale ring for me. I'm trying to get a good video of this, sir. Uh, he was eating from this bale ring without issue. Oh, sorry, the audio was probably terrible there. I want to get a microphone that actually sits on my person so that the audio doesn't change when I move the microphone. Yes, you, Mr. Remy, you. He, I don't have anything for you except I got slobbered. So Mr. Remy here gets in there just fine. Let's see if I can show it. So he didn't quite stick his head all the way in, but he had it in on this bottom side here and he was eating over here with it so he does stick his whole head in the round bale feeder and he does get food even though he has horns same with our horned mama you see here in the background but they do the same thing jersey what are you doing pickles go away so 
you got to just be careful of all that. Rings are not that expensive, especially if you make your own, find a used one. Uh, yeah, buying a brand new plastic one might be expensive. I don't know. I haven't bought one yet, but it's not as bad as you may be claiming because you just don't want to do this on your farm or, or you've never done it on your farm and you don't want to try something new. So that's the other thing too is, is you got to be careful your confirmation bias isn't affecting your farm operation by keeping you from trying something new and then never expanding, never going beyond that. You know, I use this analogy all the time. You know, I'm not riding a horse to work. I'm not riding a Model A to work. So why should I do everything the way that my granddad did or my great granddad did, you know? Why, why are we still stuck in the ways of, oh, I have to feed a cow every single day instead of giving them a round bale or else it don't last? You know, I have, what did I say? I got a bull, uh, three year and a half old steers, three. Uh, I got five mamas, so that's nine, plus a year old steer, so that's 10. So I got 10 animals out here right now eating from a round bale and they're using one round bale every three days so and my round bales are probably about a thousand pounds so 10 animals three days thousand pounds i mean that might be closer to 10 percent usage but you got to think these round bales have sat out all winter you know i showed a video in like august i put these out so they sat out all winter they don't actually look that bad There you guys see my horned cow. He's in there, he's in the feed ring. So that's what I mean, guys. This stuff can work if you do it right. I'm never gonna suggest that you guys have to try every single thing all the time, 110% of the time, because I do understand that at some point, knock it off, Jersey. At some point, enough is enough right i'm not suggesting that you have to go out and buy a brand new piece of equipment just to try this out for one round bale but if you don't try things you never progress your farm never gets better and you're stuck like the old timers where you go out of business you gotta try things i'm always trying things previous videos i said a guy on youtube told me to ditch the bale ring and i tried it and it doesn't work for me I'm not saying it doesn't work for him he could have more cows, he could have more grass, he could have smaller round bales. I don't know what the differences are because we didn't discuss that. But you guys have to be careful that you don't just see something on the internet, take it for gospel, and then end up ruining your farm operation because you didn't do a proper thorough test. But don't do such a proper thorough test that you take six months to figure out how to feed a round bale because that's not economical and you're gonna go crazy by the time you get done with that test. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.